Okay, what day is it? Sunday, the 11th of July, 2015. I'm speaking with Michael here. He's a veteran of the Vietnam War, and he wants to speak to the American people and to some of my subscribers, perhaps, uh, about what he thinks of this war on, uh, on terror and all the Iraqi uh, men, women, and children that are being murdered and, and American citizens. So go ahead, Michael. You just about said it all. Uh, uh, the idea behind this memorial is to get people to understand what the human cops war is all about. That's what people need to understand. They need to get into the actual facts of, of something. Why, you know, why is is is, why, is war useful? And we know it's uh, what we've been doing lately is 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 not working. Instead of moving forward, we're moving backwards. We keep moving backwards, and every time we turn around, we take a step backwards. We never go forward, and we have to change that. We need to change that by by getting involved, getting involved in elections, getting get involved. You know, find candidates that are that are peaceful candidates who want to want to be involved with making you know, just a peaceful world. That's what's important. We have to get away from the kind of politicians that we've been dealing with because they're they're backwards. They're not forward people, and that's what's important. We need to move forward. Do you think? What do you think the purpose of this war is? Uh, the Bush there's, Bush started in 2003 yeah, under Bush, right? The there's so many. There's so many purposes. There's oil. There's a euro. There's there's, uh, uh, you know, there's all kinds of reasons why yeah, people think this war is for what it is. Do you think the love of money is behind it, maybe? Well, Somebody's well, making money off this? Well, obviously, people huh. are making money. The big I corporations, mean, huh? Big corporations, you know, Burr, Alfred, Alfred, yeah, Alfred, yeah, yeah. Western yeah. House, you know, all these people, all these people who make weapons. You know what God says about the love of money? It's the root of all evil. Yeah. yeah well, you know, what can I say? Uh, evil is evil, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, we need to change. What we need to do is we need to, we need to learn to understand what reason is all about. We need to go after reason and find out and understand what you're talking about. Why is this happening? That's a reason. Why is this? You know, where do we go from here? That's a reason. Reason. If you if you sit down and you start saying to yourself, well, what about this? And you answer your and you learn to answer your questions, you become strong and you become your words become strong and they become they become to the point to where they're truthful and and, and they have information in them. Right now, what we get from our politicians is very little information. What is really, really well, going they, on. It's propaganda. It's misinformation, and they want to keep people in the dark. They want to justify their actions They've and their wars. For years. They've been doing of it for years. Of course. Well, I mean, and you we think we need to change that? We need to get out there and, and, and start understanding what reason's all about, and, and 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 being able to move forward so we can we can we can we can fund education. We can fund the homeless programs. We can feed the people. We can give ourselves some real decent health care healthcare, we can work on the, there's so much to do out there that we could put every single person in this country to work and give them good pay, good pay. And and, and that's what's important, you know, so people have something to live for. You know right the, now they don't have people to live for. If you read the sign down there, it's 154 a week committed suicide. Those are veterans. What, say that one more time. 154 a week commit suicide. Those are veterans. Veterans, people who are out of the war, but, but yeah, they yeah, can't yeah. make it maybe or... Yeah, they're, they're tortured in their mind psychologically. Yeah. About nine percent of that—that's active soldiers. Yeah. Uh, and then the rest of it would be, you know, your Vietnam veterans, your Korean War, you know, all the way up to Kuwaiti. You know, <clears throat> there are and a lot of these actions that were done around for different reasons around the world. So we need to understand. We need to be. We need to move forward. We have to understand what the reasons are. Why do you think, Michael? Let me ask you this, because it's a, you know, a lot of the churches said. Uh, they voted for George Bush, a lot of the conservative right-wing churches, they voted for George Bush, and they thought that this war was justified. They believed the lie that George Bush sold to the American people, that there was weapons of mass destruction, but we never found any, did we? No, we never no did. they were never there. And so, what do you think of this? Uh, how is it that so many people have been misled by our churches, by our political leaders? Because, because they're, they're listeners. They're, not, they're people who listen and they don't go out and find answers for themselves. They're lazy. They don't do the research, they do they? They need to understand, they need to talk about, you know, why. And understand the reasons why. Yes. And if you and what happens is, you know, these churches they, they shut these people's minds down and they say this is the way you have to believe, and this is the way you need to believe, and this is the way you need to believe, and and, and they take away that individuality from you as a person, mm -hmm. and, and you know, and, and so you, you need to think for yourself. You know, if if, if your pastor or minister or, or whatever says you know this, you know, <clears throat> ask questions. Absolutely, ask Go questions. Up there and, and face that person and say. Well, what about this and what about that? And, and hopefully if, you know, they, they can give you an answer that's maybe worthwhile for them. But the thing is, is you've got to make a decision. Challenge their authority. You know what they use? They use Romans 13. You must obey all the rules. Uh, I mean, all 
uh, obey all the authorities, the civil leaders, leaders, what they say, we must obey their laws, we must get behind the government if they say that we should be in war. They don't question them, and they don't challenge, and most of these churches are 501c3, so they're state churches, they're in bed with the state. Yeah. yeah. One, of the, one of the things, the most important thing that you need to remember is yourself. And what I mean by that is, you know, you receive information all the time, and you have to take a look at that information yourself, and, and, and weigh it for yourself. And try to get, you know, and if you don't quite understand it, research it, you know. That's what it, that's what computers are for. You can use computers in a good way. And, 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 and get information. The more information, the more understanding you have, the more reason you can answer your questions. Amen. Michael, it's good to see you. Lord bless you. And you get Carlton. Carlton, you got, you got one of my... Okay. All right. Take care of yourself. Thank you.